Hey nerds, what's up? Today's video is going to be my haul and TBR. Haul from January, TBR from February. Let's get right on into this. I've actually done very well in January and I feel like I've been doing pretty good on this for the most part in general, but I did not buy any books this month. I did receive one book for Christmas that I wanted to show you because it is so freaking cool. So it is the Bibliophile book, an illustrated miscellany by Jane Mount. And it has so many books in here. Like it's all about like beloved bookstores, iconic covers, and it just like gives you little snippets about the different covers and like why and um, songs about books. It dystopia. It is so cool. Bookmobiles and more. Like it's a really cool gift. So thank you so much to my stepdad Roger for getting this to me, giving this to me. This is so amazing. Um, everyday food inspiration. There's so many books on these pages that I recognize. Um, beloved bookstores. It's so, so, so cool. So thank you again to Roger. Amazing. And I did want to show you one more thing that I did buy, but it is not a book. It is a tarot deck. So I finally bought myself a tarot deck. I'm so excited. I've read from it once and dude, this was so exciting. I've been getting really into tarot from my work because I I work with some coworkers who are very into readings and stuff. And dude, this, it's just so cool. So um, in the cover, it says, may you always be on your the inner quest. And then it has a little guidebook in it that shows you like the different cards and what they mean. Gives you a little setup for like a few different readings you can do. And then this is the deck. Um, so this is the setup for the cups, the wand, the sword, and the pentacles. And then this is the cover side. And then these are just some of the cards. Just amazing. I'll link these down below. They're on Amazon if you're interested. Um, not to an just I love them so much. I am so excited. I did a reading with them. I did I pulled one card and then I also did a pull for a deck and so good. I love it so much. So anyways just wanted to show that off. I'm really into it. Matt thinks I'm crazy for buying these because he's like that's such bold. Moving on into the TBR for the month of February. I have eight books on my TBR for the month. Um, I'm not going to pull from my TBR jar or my Goodreads TBR just yet because I have the contemporary a -thon going. And if I do run out of books this month, I doubt it because I'm also reading a very big book this month. Um, but if I do run out of books, then I'll do that next. Or maybe I'll do it. If I do get there, I'll pull it on Instagram or something. So make sure you're following me on my, all my social media. It's all linked down below. But I need to finish Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. I am almost halfway done now. I definitely put this book down for like months because I just wasn't into it. But I officially put in some stickies so that I can hold myself accountable and finish this book on time to then read Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas because me and Brittany from Brittany's Book Find and Paula and everyone are reading this for a live show. I also did some crazy sticky notes on this so I can also hold myself accountable and read this because I need to read it in time for the live show and I'm so excited and nervous to reread this so I need to get these done definitely need to maintain accountability please yell at me if you don't see these on my goodreads showing up anytime soon you hold me accountable thanks for that the next book that I want to read is Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis this is one of the books that is on the goodreads awards for 2019 this is the challenge that it won because I can't remember any of the categories but I want to read this I actually just finished reading Girl Wash Your Face at the end of 2019 and I liked it Rachel Hollis does talk a lot about her own beliefs in Christianity and how that has helped her and she really like leads through that and so that doesn't completely 
resonate with me, but I did like her book a lot and I definitely liked her stuff all about motherhood, which again doesn't resonate with me at this point in my life, but I did really like reading it still, so I'm very interested in this one. I also want to read Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness. And this is another Goodreads winner for this category here, um, so I want to read that. It won. I don't actually know anything about this. Is it a memoir? I don't know. <laughs> We'll have to find out. So I want to read that. The last four books I have here are all going to be related to contemporary -thon, as well as one for continuing on with that Goodreads challenge. So the next book here is Pumpkinheads by Rainbow Rowell. And I want to read this because it won the Goodreads challenge. This one right here. I'm pretty sure it was graphic novels, but I don't know for sure. So that's the challenge that it won for. So I do want to read it for that. But I also am going to be reading this for Contemporary Athon, which is February 10th through the 16th. This readathon is hosted by Chelsea and Julie and Natasha and Melanie. Oh, I'm reading Over the Top for Contemporary Athon too, apparently, which I forgot about. So I'm reading Over the Top for a new to me author. And then I'm reading Pumpkin Heads for an illustrated cover. It's so cute. I'm so excited. I honestly have no idea what it's about. I guess I haven't said what any of these were about. Am I a booktuber? Do we even know? Should I go back? Okay, so very quickly, if you all haven't heard of the Sarah J. Mass Throne of Glass series, it's about a girl named Selena Sardothian who's an assassin. She got caught, she was sent to a slave encampment, but the prince from the kingdom decides to take her out in order for her to compete in the assassin competition for the king so that she would be the king's assassin. And then everything goes from there and everything is basically different by the end of a book in the series. And it's not about that at all whatsoever. The series is great but some people really hate Sarah J Maas. I love her. This one is a self-help book. The end. One, I honestly have no idea what Pumpkin Heads is about. Let's see. Every autumn all through high school they've worked together at the world's best pumpkin spec pumpkin patch. They say goodbye every Halloween and they're reunited every September 1st, but this Halloween is different. Josie and Deja are finally seniors. It's their last season of the patch, their last shift together, their last goodbye, so they're ready to spend the whole night feeling melancholy about it. Deja has a plan and instead of moping in around, they're going to go out with a bang. So that's what it's about. The Stars and the Blackness Between Them, which is by Jananda Petrus, and I'm going to be reading this for a diverse read. I was actually sent this, well I got it from Book of the Month, and don't know anything about it, but really, really, really love the cover. Uh, so this book, Part of Spain Trinidad, 16 year old Audrey, I think it's Audrey, is heartbroken having just found out she's going to live in America with her father because her mother caught her with her secret girlfriend, the pastor's granddaughter, while in Minneapolis, USA. 16-year-old Mabel is staring at a picture of Whitney Houston trying to figure out why she feels the way she feels about her ex Terrell, about her girl Jada, and that moment they had in the woods about the vague feeling of illness that's plagued her all summer. They fall in love and it's a female-female romance and maybe other things too. So I'm really excited for this one. I also am planning on reading Words on Backing Walls by Julia Walton. This book I'm going to be reading for... What does that... <laughs> I wrote hard slash dark hitting instead of dark slash hard hitting. Anyways, this book was the book that I pulled from my TBR jar last month that I did not make my way to, or it was one of the books that I could have read and I read none of them. Um, so I do want to get to this for that and I also want to get to it because... It sounds really good. It's about schizophrenia. He sees and hears people who aren't there and Rebecca, a beautiful girl who understands him, the mob boss who harasses him, and Jason, the naked guy who's unfailingly polite. It should be easy to separate the real and not real, but Adam can't. Still, there's hope. So it's about this and it sounds really good. The last book that's on my TBR for the month and for contemporary a thon is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng and this is going to be for my green cover as well as my backlist title and I actually don't know much about this book except that it's adult and I'm pretty sure it's literary fiction and I'm pretty sure that Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads really likes this book so it could also go for the book that um, a booktuber really loves which I haven't actually picked for yet because I'm at a loss for what book to pick. I think that this book could be maybe one, two. I don't know. I'm going to be vlogging for the week and so I will make sure to do some booktuber shoutouts during that 
because I did not come prepared for this video. Keep an eye out. Watch that vlog. I'll tell you some of my favorite booktubers in that because I have plenty of them. Um, but that, I think, is what I'm going to count for that challenge as well because I do know that Chelsea really liked this book because she kept talking to me about wanting to get it for me from Book of the Month. I'm going to get it from the library because I can. And that's all of the books that I'm planning on reading this month. Eight books. I think I can do it. I read nine in January, so let's hope that I can read eight, including this one really large behemoth down here. So those are the books that I'm planning on reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday, so I will see you guys very soon with a new one, and you should hit that subscribe button if you're interested. I'll see you soon. Bye!